Ah, uh, yes. Force wipe. You either love it, or you hate it. The day all your craftable items get reset, your base gets wiped, and all your previous progress is gone. A fresh slate, some would say. I decided to find a suitable base location while collecting basic materials, such as hemp and stone. The only thing that really caught my attention on this map was the little island on the left hand side of the map. It looked interesting to me. I decided to run there and see if it was taken. I made it to the island. I stopped for nothing along the way, and it had not been taken yet. However, there was evidence that a group was in the area. I had to act quick. I noticed a lot of these bags around the area. I saw about 10 of them and they all had the same red skin. This told me that they were all a part of the same group. builder so I decided to go with the Evil Wars 2x2. It utilizes a roof bunker. Here's how it works. When you're logging off for the night, you place a twig foundation right here and a roof tile right there. You upgrade that roof to the highest build quality that you can and it forces raiders to go through these three ceilings or this roof tile. When you log on for the day, you just spawn inside here, break that 
foundation, and you have access to all the upper floors of the base. With the base being done, and Dairy Gold getting on, the hardest part about living on our island was gathering basic materials. We decided to venture out to collect items such as scrap and components to craft guns and armor. Dairy Gold got on to help me collect components and basic materials. We decided to do a duo wipe together. Check his link out in the description down below. He's an awesome Twitch streamer and an awesome friend of mine. for me. Oh shit. I'm already headshot, but... He's on the. I hit him once. Yeah. Okay. Hit him. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. Okay. Pull. Uh, Looking for his friend if you want to loot. Okay. I think he's solo, man. I think we're good. I think so too. But just in case. Uh, Here's his family. He's the need. Yeah. Um. Loot whatever you can. Just take the combat knife and the red thing. I didn't even have any pistol ammo. Okay. Probably just found that. Yeah. It's, yeah well, it's like low. Eh, probably just find it. I'm kind of. All right. Okay. If you have anything that recycles for GP, we can grab some bullets and help us. I got back from the component run and went to recycle at Melton's. Oh my god. This there's a is when I met the neighbors. Here. Yikes. Wait, please don't shoot. Day one Andy. Please, I beg you, man. Dude, so I, killed, I beg like, you, man. Three people on my way to I, there's two all AKs here. They're bots. Could you pick me up, maybe? Is that possible? I don't have anything to help with. Talking? Yeah, that was me. I'm, I'm an idiot. Or I'm confused, maybe. Yeah, I didn't even notice you. If you hadn't said anything, I would have ran right past. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I saw you. I'm like, oh, fuck. Because I think I saw your friend over there. I'm like, shit. You know what, man? Thanks, dog. You know what? I, I'll, I will do you the courtesy of picking you up. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm just trying to come to recycle. I, I keep dying. I don't know if those are your friends over there, but 145. I, I you stuff, Thank you. I, I, I don't know. Okay, well be careful then. We have some big boy neighbors. I just died to AK and they just stole. They even took my metal door. Are you trolling? After meeting our not so friendly neighbors, we decided to craft some guns and go to oil rig as a way to recoup the loss. One bad crate under our belt, we decided to go back to base and roam one last time before we logged off. This is when we met the neighbors. However, this time we had guns. Darry ended up killing that guy and grabbing all the guns and valuables and bringing them back to base. 
The next morning, I hopped on and we decided to go to oil. However, we had a conversation about this group. Darth Mac has played this server for 1,094 hours. That's right, playing the same exact server for almost 1,500 hours. Right. You just told me everything I need to know. Big Fat Dog has played this server for 1,400 hours. You, listen, you're telling me, dude, these guys, all right, I've played official servers, like forever, like BP or Face Punch fucking, these guys are the fucking, like, not like kings, but like, even if we raid them, they don't give a fuck. They're gonna come back seven deep, and they'll just, they'll build across the map, and they'll come again. These guys are like the sweats of the server. I know exactly. I actually, literally, it's ironic. I know how these guys play. Darian and I did some snooping on their Steam profiles, and we figured out that most of them were a part of this Steam group right here. There was 31 members in it, and by this point, they had bagged in about 10 to 15 players. I think Skeet and like Big Fat Dog, wh whoever the two are on right now, and Mac as well. I think these guys are like the sweats. Like what I'm gathering is that all they do is play this game and they make sure that they don't get raided. That's like their one job. Enough with the side story. This will all be relevant information later on. In the meantime, we decided to go and do a small oil run to start the day. The water I was there. thinking like F12, like in that field where they're like friends bases. Is there scientists? Oh, good question. No. I'm gonna go to the trash pile, okay? Okay. What the hell? I don't see anything. Oh, yep, there's people like I'm running. If you get to that pier, we win. And can hold it. I'm on. Okay, we win. And I see the geo, which I'll let you know in a minute. Doing light post booster. Yeah, but I can't. There's two. Are you, did you get up? No. They push. Oh my god, I hit him three. Oh, 
insane. Yeah. This was a big win for us. We needed these AK sets if we were going to be fighting a big group such as our neighbors. I decided to wait for Derek to get back so he could hold more, and we left. So part of me kind of wants... Do we have like a diving tank in base? I'm pretty sure we do. Probably yelling at each other. Timmy, I thought you cleared. I thought you I thought you checked that level. Dude, thousand percent. I waited for Derry to come back to oil rig so we could get the extra gear that was left over and we decided to go back to base. Shoot them in the back. Okay, I'm almost down to the ladder. One's dead. Two dead. Two dead. I have a feeling they were loaded. Really Couple extra guns. Couple extra guns. Some low grade. They killed a bear. A jackhammer, free. Oh shit, that's big. Yep. Is this that's really thing? big. Uh, I'm in Milton, so I'm still square out. Okay, they're running back. Okay. I just them. All right, I'm here now. Yeah, if you can come to me, I can't loot this, all of it. I'm, I'm gonna run up the hill and kind of get far away, but. One of them came from the base we door camp, and one came from the base with the turrets. Bailey. Do we know yeah. Bailey? That's Bailey. Right oh, there. this is Skeet. That was Skeet. Like I said, we decided to build on this island. This meant that we had to swim across this channel every time we wanted to go to or leave the base. This gave them the opportunity to shoot us while we were swimming over. Me, sorry. Whenever we died when we were swimming to the island, we would pull the bolt out of the base and shoot them while they were swimming in the water. This made it nearly impossible for them to loot us. These fights would usually last for 15 to 20 minutes and they would run back with more and more gear. However, not once were they able to retrieve our loot when they killed us in the water. This proved to be very effective. It reached the deepest, darkest hours of the night and they all logged off. We decided to go over to their starter base and break all their turrets. Stand behind this one and attack it, or does it look you can get 360? No, so. it, it's hurting itself. What the hell, man? Once we were done breaking in their turrets and everything else, I decided to do one last farm run and upgrade the base before I logged off. This way, if they did offline us, it would be very difficult and expensive for them to do so. However, as I was finalizing everything up and minutes away from logging off, disaster struck. No matter what you do, you are not supposed to upgrade that twig foundation, otherwise the bunker won't work. I wasn't able to demolish it, so I had one option, to pick it out. It took me about three hours. In the time it took me to pick that foundation, Derry went to bed and then woke up. I decided to run around for a little bit before I went to bed, 
and I noticed that they were transferring loot from one base to this compound. Meds in the base, I can BP. I wonder if he saw me. That guy is probably loaded. Oh, I got garage door, so if we get gears, I can slap a bunch of them. In. We just killed one, they're gonna send the Coast Guard out. I'm, uh, I'm swimming across to you right now. Okay, I'm just gonna run. Yeah, 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 they're coming. I just stole their mini. I think. That spray, dude. Whoa. No, no. <clears throat> Mike. Thirty seconds out. Okay. W King, do you? Alive, please come to me. I beg you. This was an absurd amount of high qual. Likely, they got it through farming Milton's all day on wipe day and all day so far today. on top i think this is a bunker i think there's it's a half hole here as you can see so i was kind of thinking like i'm not gonna lie like just like straight through the back somewhere like that yeah that looks good to me full send i think so Full of wait, full I just heard. Oh, no, I didn't. Jumping, Sorry, I have it. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Um, what a whack base. Uh, one, two, three. This is a foundation here. Is it four rockets to break a tier three? Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we should. It's four rockets, yeah. right? Okay. Uh, hit the right side of the tier 3. There's a garage door. Oof, it didn't break. But TC is behind it. Here, I got a ladder. Okay, yeah. Thank God. Um, interesting. There's okay. loot up here. 
Full box of stone. Ooh, brother. Ooh. Three C four, baby. Interesting. Two jackhammers. Do See we, we can keep soft going side or stuff. No? I mean we can soft side this wall. I don't know if it gets us anywhere. It might get us to the other loot room. Yeah, I mean, I could steal. I kind of want to check out their furnace base, because remember he, like, came out, like, AK, but... Exploit ammo? Wait. Their, their furnace base is now getting raided. It's getting raided by someone else. Are you kidding? Um, you can not make this shit up. I kind of want to go check, man. I'm not going to lie. Let's see. Let's. Oh, this is so hard. They're going to be We can go check. Can let's go just check. go look. We could just run there. I don't know. This might be dumb. Yeah. Oh, he's probably dead now. Seems like it. My W key, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Get on the roof. To my left. 170. Far close. Uh, close. He is jumping on his rock. Dead. Dead. There might be a more. more. Dead. Nice. This is where they're repairing the ship. 48 more expo. Another AK. This kid has expo too. I'm gonna check in the base. It's, it's mad monkeys, mad monkeys. Is it really? He lives close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fuck. Interesting. What should we do then? They're trying to go through a fucking... Alright, let's fly back to that compound and let's do a ceiling, I think. We decided that we were gonna grief the base, quit raiding it, and go raid their furnace base fully. We figured they weren't going to restart after this, and we called it a done night. Here's the furnace base raid. Again, just start shooting. I'm just going to keep the bolt, but I have a feeling that MP5 guy is cheating. Um, just keep shooting. Just, uh, oh no. I'm going to jump. I'm going to have ladders. I can okay, come back just up. Just ladder out as soon as you can. Yeah. Let's just get into the sheet metal area here. You just keep your eye out for them. Right here. I see him, I see him, I see him. 10. Okay. Yep, I hit him. Okay. He's behind the tree. I think. I don't know where the other one is. Just keep uh, keep going then. I think it's like. Oh, okay. We're in. Get through that garage door then. It's all my rockets. I see one. Uh, 30, 35. It's MP5 gun. Get him. Oh, I just fucked him. Down well, I'm in here now. Oh, yeah, this is it. Uh, okay. I'm gonna keep going. In? I'm getting to TC. I'm getting to TC. Don't go down there. That's it. That's the fucking mother load, dude. Oh, you good right now? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Yikes. Cut, man. The MP5 guy was running for whatever reason, so... I have a satchel and explain ammo if you do. That will come in handy very, very soon. Yeah. Sooner than I had hoped, but sooner. Alright, this is gonna be TC right here. I'm gonna C4 it. Uh, we have that satchel and the explain ammo. Yeah, I'm dropping it down. Thanks. Thanks.
Uh, are they still outside or? Uh, there's a hazy kid pushing me from the south or from the west. If you wanna toss me, tagged him. I'm almost in, but this is kind of risky. Okay, TC. I'm gonna break TC. TC is broken. Let me see if I can't find wood here. Got wood. Repair bench here. I can't place these. I don't know why. You need a ladder? No, I'm building blocked. Oh, yikes. Um, Their other base? Oh, the yeah. heli. No, no, no. I'm, I'm building blocked. Like, block, block. So. Uh. Okay. Throw of gunpowder in here. Let me just place a TC down here, see if that fixes it. It actually should. With our final act of revenge finished, I decided to log off for the night. Not thinking much of it, I quit the game and went to bed. I got a message on Discord saying that we were getting raided. I was really surprised that the clan was able to rebuild this quickly and immediately raid us. This was about 8 hours after we raided them. Wait, I forgot this is not a tier 3. Just call up the Hello! Bomb. Oh, it's, it, look who it is. I know, I know. Wait, they rebuilt? Uh, you sound kind of mad. Pull the window. I don't know what it is. You got to pull it. What happens to the C4 when you oh, pull it? Oh, 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 I thought this was pretty lame, so we decided to restart, and luckily, a viewer of mine found about 50 rockets worth of explosives from a base on the server that decayed. This was the push we needed to raid them back. Just for some context, we ended up getting a start, we had that K base, and we had all the explosives. We didn't have very many gear sets, and we didn't have much materials, except for rockets and sulfur. There was a raid up near our base. It was a large base that we had been scouting all day. We figured we could maybe raid it for some more rockets. However, this is when we figured out that it was the Duck Clan raiding the base. We ended up running to the base owners to see if they had anything they could give us to assist us in the raid, and in the process, we actually got a couple new friends. You guys in a full eight, man? No, there's three of us online. Oh shit, you want to invite me and Blaze? We can help the vent. Or do you not care? I, we literally don't have any fucking, like, what, what do you guys need? Oh, we basically just need any more boom pipes and kids or, or sets or AKs or whatever like we have we have metal sets and AKs and we have 100 rockets when you, but when you ran into the, the more the better you... most of their gear set and guns were despawning and most of their group was getting offline they figured they were done for the wipe however we picked up two new friends Martin and Chad is what they went by they were just as determined as us to raid these guys and get revenge and that's exactly what we did we took all the rest of their gear and their guns back to their base, decided to team up, we gave them the code, trusting them, and we were determined to get our revenge. To skip the boring part, we ended up crafting for a few hours. In total, we ended up with 120 rockets. 
In total, we had nine people, including Martin and his friend, who we had only met hours prior. This would be helpful for counter raiders as well as defending the base. Although, while we were flying the scrap heli, we noticed that every single one of them got offline. That was alright though. Between the three offline raids they did on us, the stream sniping, as well as the general toxicity around the server, I felt like we were giving them a taste of their own medicine. We have eight of us just spray it with five. So what's up? Yeah, so careful, careful. When you run in, I think there's a turret up there, okay? No, I think they're all broken. No, no, I'm pretty certain. Just more turret. Yeah, there's a there's a lot there is, but it's a tank. Oh, I saw him. There's one in the bush. No, no, no. It's They have. Wait, where is that? That one, it's 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 where I shot. It's up here. Oh. It's behind that like metal half wall on top of the other base. It's you can yeah. pass it there. Come there, you think? I can yeah, this is where their TC is. That's where their TC is. So. Yeah. AK turret again. Okay, dude. Oh, dude. I don't know where they're going. Oh my God, another. Another AK turret. Oh, look, it's speed. Right now. Yeah, PC. Easy. We got PC. Yep. We'd blown their TC. We got it. It was in the same exact spot. Oh, wait, wait. Good players, by the way. Jeez, real quick. Yeah, they got those weird, like, jump up loot rooms. Remember those? Oh my god, dude. The loot's like disorganized as the fuck. And the sure. T spawning of the. This is where their TC was? Yeah. Kidding? Lots of reason. I think maybe through this garage door, Derry. Yeah. Maybe one box. Oh! Oh! Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. Oh, okay. okay. Oh my god. What? Right, one more. I'll shoot the last. <laughs> Down here. Okay, two more AKs and an M2. Oh, I'm doing it. Okay, that is that's a shotgun. Okay. Oh my some GB. Pipes. Bottom box has some rockets. Let's maybe, uh... AKs, oh boy. Let's maybe go through this garage door. Yeah, I think we definitely go through this. I'm shooting around it. There's killing kids? Oh my god, I know, there's a block. It's insane, dude. What? Uh, one more. Uh, I'll shoot the last. Wait, oh, I'm alright. Okay. Yeah, I'll shoot the last. Shot on top, man. 
Oh, whoops. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Ooh, what a whoopsie. What a whoopsie. Oh, I yeah. imagine like, so many GLs. Oh, We're going to every single garage door, man. You guys want to do this upper one right here? Yeah, yeah. We can get two at once if we hit it right. I'm shooting. I can do it if you I got it. I know exactly what you're doing. Okay. If someone's able to go grab six uh, rockets Ladders. from that staging base, that'd be... I, I got think you. I got the rest. Bed here. Wait, you got it? I guess Blaze got it. You went back for those six that I left back there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you guys yeah. Really, okay. really quick. Get that really quick in a second. Um, which one you want to go through, Derry? I think, if I remember correctly, this leads to the roof, so... Is there a mirror image of this room right here? Is that what this is over here? I don't know, man. Yo, the mirror image of that AK sewing kit room? You want to shoot... You want to go through this garage door, Derry, right here? I really want to just despawn all these AKs. Who picked up all the pipes? Yeah, this one? I'll, I'll pick right up some I'll recycle and I'll get some, all this random research, everything. I don't give a fuck. Anytime we go on this server, they're fucked. Alright, I'm gonna go through this garage door, right? One more for me. What the fuck? More random ass. Dear God. More AKs, so they're just laying around. Okay, I don't have any more rockets. Lots of metal. I have you, about. Do any come in that? Wait, you guys have stuff to see them? Uh, are we building? Blocks? We are building blocks. Oh, building blocks. They have an outer. Uh, you might be able to place them. It's kind of hard. I think I know which base it is. I can explore that garage door. With the main base out of the way, we decided that we were going to raid the secondary base so that we can get full tool cupboard control in this compound. With the two best griefers on our team, Gabba and I, we decided that we were going to make sure that these guys didn't rebuild. Keep in mind, some of these components here are the most that I'd ever seen on an official vanilla server ever. Let me kill one of them. I got like I eight. Want, I want to kill. Let me kill Humphrey. Let me fucking kill Humphrey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Box of charcoal. Oh. Box? Is there just chronic? Another orders? tier three. Chronic orders. We decided to blow through the back of their base. We noticed that it was a bunker type base, and we figured that going through the back would be the cheapest method. This was by far the most amount of guns, components, and armor that I had seen on an official vanilla server. Keep in mind, I've been playing this game for about 9,000 hours, however, I don't really get to raid this often, let alone raiding one of the biggest groups on the server. It was insane. There's like a box of paper, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're also in the, in the back room where I think that's Oh. Yeah. I got a 
roasted, bro. Did I incend the hole on accident? Is that one on the roof broken or no? Oh, oh, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Blaze? Yeah. <laughs> you keep sending it, buddy. Wait, what's happening? Let me look. What's going on? How did he get in there? Me? I just... My little jump legs. Did you like... Am I stuck Whoa. in here? Am I fucked? Yeah. Oh, Yo, I could just go start grass. crafting boom for you guys. If Look at all this scrap, dude. That's a lot of scrap. Oh, it's big fat dog. What a bitch. Look, Look at all this. So epic fat dog. What? Fucking weirdos, man. They are horrors and weirdos. We should probably get someone on a tier 3 crafting explosives. Honestly, it's. I'll start crafting. I'm gonna start grabbing a bunch of stuff. Check this box. Hmm? Like a row and a half of rockets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, keep going, boys. Yeah. yeah. More. If you do enough eggs. Yeah. Fucking know, yeah. slamming right. them, boys. Garage door is at 2016 health. Oh, do you hey, see the strap? Yeah, yeah, so much strap. I'll save you the boring part, but we ended up raiding every single external tool cupboard so that we could grief their compound so that they wouldn't come back again. And if they did want to come back, they wouldn't be able to use this compound whatsoever. However, it's funny. We found explosives in their external tool cupboards. They were that afraid of getting raided. Didn't matter though. We weren't in it for the profit. In fact, we lost almost all of our soul for profit raiding these guys. That didn't matter though, because the following few photos made this raid all worth it. All in all, we crafted about 120 rockets and used about 150. Like I said earlier, they were stream sniping me blatantly as well as my friend Derry Gold. This meant that they had a massive advantage that they wouldn't have otherwise been able to have in regular gameplay. Some people would consider this cheating. They literally admitted to it, and they were being toxic in both my chat as well as Derry Gold's chat. Pretty satisfying to see them taken down. They seemed pretty salty about it. We ended up griefing everything. There was no way that they would have been able to use it again. Of course, they came into our streams talking smack, but we didn't really care. This picture right here made it all worth it. That's right, we made them quit the server. Derry Gold logged on the next day and happened to notice this in the chat. To those of you guys that made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. This is by far the longest video on my channel and probably ever will be. I like to keep my videos around 20 minutes. All in all, this video took up about 2,500 gigabytes of memory on my hard drives. That's right, 2.5 terabytes. It took about a month to record and edit this video. An insanely long video and the biggest project I've ever put out on YouTube before. Also, for those of you guys that might not know, my friend Derry Gold, who I was playing with is a Twitch streamer. Make sure you go down in the description below and check out his Twitch. He's a super awesome dude and a really good player. Also, I live stream on Twitch. The link can be found in the description below. There's also an awesome Discord link down there. It's my personal Discord. It's the best place to know when I go live, upload on YouTube, as well as interact with me. Again, thank you guys all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm going to start uploading here on YouTube a little more consistently. Thanks again. Appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day.